As I said earlier, liver biopsy is the cornerstone of the diagnostic workup. It's very important that an experienced pathologist looks at it and the sensitivity is quite high in these cases as well as specificity. There are some disorders that mimic biliary atresia histologically and these include the parental nutrition associated cholestasis. So if it is a premature baby, you need to have an extra index of suspicion because the biopsy may overlap with biliary atresia and you need to uh, do the intraoperative cholangiography if you're worried. Cystic fibrosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin may all be associated with a similar biopsy picture. The earliest histologic changes of biliary atresia are relatively non-specific, and biopsies which are performed too early in the course may result in a falsely negative diagnosis. So again, just like a normal ultrasound doesn't rule out a normal liver biopsy also doesn't rule out, and you need to continue to watch these babies and have a low threshold to go for intraoperative angiography if in doubt. So the liver biopsy, as you know, is often challenging to perform. It needs an expert review. The tissue has to be properly saved and taken to the lab. Sometimes you do the biopsy and the way you are transporting it, you may lose it. And in some inconclusive cases, a repeat liver biopsy a few months later may help as conditions evolve. Of course, this will not apply to biliary atresia. If there is a concern, you would intervene early. And uh, as these babies have insufficient hepatic synthetic function, you may have to give vitamin K in a higher dose initially before you do the biopsy or you have to test the cholangium because there's a risk of bleeding in 4% of the babies after liver biopsy. So these are slides from patients with uh, biliary atresia. And you can see very well that the normal sinusoidal pattern is preserved, but you can see fibrosis in the portal tracts. The bile ducts are exaggerated and they are blocked. Uh, so you have features of bile duct obstruction, bile duct proliferation. So you can see multiple bile ducts in the same field, bile plugs obstructing the bile ducts, and you have perilobular fibrosis and edema. Sometimes you get infiltrates of cells. Remember that giant cells are not specific uh, for giant cell or idiopathic hepatitis. There are 20 to 50% of babies with biliary atresia. Some of them may have uh, giant cells as well. And this is what you get with the uh, idiopathic neonatal hepatitis. And this picture is not specific as we see giant cell hepatitis pattern is seen in quite a few metabolic and uh, infectious conditions as well. So here you have lost the sinusoidal pattern, you have inflammatory infiltrate and the giant cells. 